Good morning! Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful day. It is absolutely lush. Today is the first. I know spring officially started last week, but obviously clocks have changed. So we are going to be noticing lighter evenings and what a glorious day to start it off. But anyways, that isn't what we're here to talk about, the weather. <laughs> oh, it is a mess. Well, it's not a mess, it's just unmarked out stables but i am here and obviously at the ponies and we are heading off to Colrain for the riding club area challenge so it's basically arena eventing um but i think something about the show jumping is timed and it's on that that yeah your show jumping's timed then you go on to cross country I don't know, I don't, I'm not 100% sure on the rules if I'm completely honest because they also do arena eventing as well but this is ever so slightly different. You almost have to, I think this is where you go up and you start in a box for your show jumping. So that'll be a little bit different for Addy but I'm really looking forward to it. I am keen to put in some changes that I learned at the Howard Academy training with British eventing. I really, oh, I had such a beneficial, if you haven't seen that vlog guys, do go check it out because I was told so much again and I am so fortunate that I get to have lessons with these lovely, amazing instructors that do, and like, they're all along the similar lines, but do you ever find that it's just sometimes somebody says it in, I don't know, a different way that works for you and works for your brain and basically Mandy... Mandy Frost told me to just look away from her when she's arguing with me, just look away. And I don't know what it is, whether it's something to do with like mind connection or I don't know what it is, but it really, really helped in our show jumping session that I had with Mandy. And I am keen to try to do that in a competition. We all know competition blood and like your adrenaline is always up, but very much hoping that it will help a little bit. Whether a lot, I don't know. But we shall see. I'll, we'll see what happens. I'm feeling positive about today. I'm not dwelling on previous events or things that have happened in the past. Um, I'm still going. I'm going back to... I'm not going to go to be competitive. I just want to go and gain experience. And I haven't got any expectations. She has jumped at Coleraine recently. So I think that will help us as well. And yeah, I'm just going up. I just want to go and have some pony fun in the sun. Um so cliche isn't it but that is what we are up to in today's vlog the ponies i've been over super early um as soon as it was light which actually was about seven o'clock maybe a little bit before which is technically six o'clock and do you find that when the clocks have changed that you're constantly thinking well actually it's this time or yeah i have to say i'm feeling like a little bit of a zombie um i had a party last night uh, a family's 18th birthday party I suddenly felt very old and also I don't know whether because I wasn't drinking and I was I was the driver but when you're then sober as well it just makes you feel even older <laughs> um I remember my 18th so that was fun but it was late um which obviously again with the hour then made it even later so I just feel like I'm a little bit of a zombie but I did go home I let the ponies out went home and had another little sleep but I felt like my eyes shut and my alarm went off again <laughs> Um, but the ponies are out because I wanted Daddy just to have a bit of time out in the field. And now I'm going to get them in. The car is already loaded. That was what I was just doing before I started the vlog. So I've printed my number. Everything is in there ready to go. So we are, yeah, we've got about 45 minutes until I want to leave here. Obviously, that has got to get on the back of my car. But other than that, doing quite well. I had a little panic that I thought I was really late. And I've now realised that I'm okay and I'm on time. So that makes me just breathe a little bit, feel a bit better. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy coming along with us again to Coleraine. Um, and I'm hoping that Addy is going to enjoy it too. I can only see one pony at the moment. I think they might be able to come back and have a naked roll again, which they had last time. And both of them thoroughly enjoyed themselves. We are all loaded, aren't we, Addy? Good girl. She just loaded like a dream. She acted like... When I'm on my own, I do get a bit nervous. And I know I've said before, like, ideas of what I can do to keep her, like, distracted whilst I get in the back. And actually, I am finding, I put paint it up, and then I have a pocket full of carrots. <laughs> and I poke them into the hay net. And then that distracts her whilst I go round the back. But today, I didn't need my carrots. She just walked straight past me and went in the box. So, 
Yay! Starting the day very, very well. Um, I have realised that I have forgotten Addy's passport, which is at home. So I just need to make a detour. Thankfully, it is on the way. I need to find something for my lips. My lips are dry. Um, and then, yeah, we'll meet you out at Coleraine. We have arrived at Coleraine. They are just finishing off the 70, and then obviously I am in the 80, and there's a course walk, so we'll go up there. Oh, I've just got that. I've just had literally one sip, and I feel like it's brought life to me. I feel like a bit of a zombie this morning, um, but it's just brought some life to me. You're okay, aren't you? This is getting cleaned out, so that was from <laughs> travelling up with two horses eating a lot of hay and haylage yesterday, wasn't it? You can't have any of my coffee. No, staying away from you. Mwah. Oh, good girl, you've got a very nice view, haven't you? Yeah, you've got a very nice view. You're settled now. She got a little bit excited when we first arrived and I was just trying to straighten up because the car park is jam-packed. Um, it's all very well managed and everything, but yeah, this was my little space that I could get into, but I just wanted to straighten up and as I went to reverse back and come back in, she just went bananas in the back. She was just so excited to be here, but she's settled. Absorbing all the atmosphere, but we'll get up now and go and walk the course. Lots of excited ponies in there. <laughs> huh? I don't know how she kept all the clothes up. <laughs> <laughs> They're all talking to each other. <laughs> He's cute. Are you going happy? Is it number order? Or? Oh, eight eleven's just gone over. Yeah, she said I had three before. Oh, you know the course, okay? It's twisty, isn't it? You know the course, okay? Hey. She's always the element of surprise. I thought she'd be like, why am I doing this way? Oh. She's like, no, okay. Yeah, we're going for a hack. A nice relaxing hack with a few jumps thrown in. Yeah. And a start box. And a start. She doesn't know what that is. That's true. I remember when we did this a couple of years ago, Banks was pouring the ground even though it wasn't even a proper start box. Positively yeah. mental rider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, laddie. Does it look exciting? <laughs> yeah, she agrees. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, there was a start box, so a completely different kind of starting. Obviously, you get that in cross country, but not necessarily in an arena. So I wasn't 100% sure how Addy was going to take it, but the buzzer went and in we went, and she went in really, really well. I was really chuffed. I know we were on the wrong leg, but I didn't worry about that. I just wanted her to go forward, and we did end up getting a lovely stride to fence one. Then coming around to fence two, again, she's still keen. She's still pulling me and wanting to go, but we got a lovely stride, and now the course has been built quite twisty-turny, almost encouraging you or allowing you to shave off the time because the show jumping is timed. Now, I didn't go the long routes, but I didn't go the very short loops that I could have done, the short turns, tight turns that I could have done. And a couple times she does come back to trot, but I'm actually pleased with myself for not them panicking and flapping and chasing her. Like here, she comes back to trot, but I know we're going through the two cross country fences. She then sees the fence. She takes me into canter and we got two lovely strides. This turn here was really nice. I felt like she actually stayed quite balanced and we got a nice stride to fence six. 
before then turning again right to fence seven. And this line, I think she does really, really nicely. So over seven there. And you can see, and I think I learned this from my lesson with Mandy, is yes, have a contact. She is still pulling me into the fences, but I am yeah. like keeping that contact there, but keeping her head out in front of her. Again, we now, so we've had a lovely clear on the show jumping. We're now going into cross country. She did go, I'd say a little bit green up there, just when I need to have a little look, mum. So I allowed her to stay in the trot so that she had time to process those fences. She picked up a really lovely canter, which coming out here and she jumped that really, really nicely. Now this one I had planned to come back to trot. So I think my balance is bringing her back but actually we didn't quite get the trot that I wanted because she's never jumped. It's like a, a miniature bullfinch, I think is what they call it. And she's never seen anything quite like that, but she jumped it really nice. well. Also, then coming around here breath. to the steps, I remembered to release my grip nice like Cameron had taught. And then here, because I'd slipped, I didn't quite gather my reins up as quickly as Sorry, perhaps I needed. The but I didn't panic, again didn't chase. She picked up the canter and it allowed us a couple of nice strides kept trotting around here to go up and off of the bank and then we pick up the canter she's got no spooky no silly business and she jumps lovely really? confidently into the water and then we're coming around to the last fence now I was just because I know that this one was a knockable so I was just wanting to balance her up but again lovely stride and yeah to finish off a really really lovely lovely round so that's a lovely double clear there for Emily oh, and silver lining for Aphrodite. And inside the time, finishing on score is zero. <laughs> very clever, clever girl. Yeah, very, very pleased. Double clear and somehow managed to get inside the time, which I always think that's just a bit of a fluke whether that happens or not. But you were super. Definitely, I think, has highlighted that I need to do a little bit more than just go for a mooch before when we've got a competition the next day I think it just helps take that edge off of you doesn't it and yeah she was really good really listened the only one that she had a little bit of a I don't know hesitation was the one on the bank but other than that I felt like she was coming back to me listening and yeah really really pleased and now finishing the day off with some cheesy chips and another coffee to keep my zombie eyes awake yeah, now we've just got, we've got one more team member. We're doing well so far. Um, I think one's had a pole and one just had a couple of time folds. And then we've got one left to go, which is Jamie Lee. So I think she'll be on shortly. So we will we'll watch her and then find out where our team result is. It's a fair few hours later in the day, but it's almost seven o'clock guys. And it is perfectly light as to be expected today, but we have been, blessed with a really lovely first day and I know that as I mentioned at the very beginning spring started sometime last week I think it was Monday but I always feel like today when the uh, clocks change and you're still outside at this time and it's still light and the ponies have had a naked day which I know you can't see them right now but they have taken full advantage of I've just done up the stables they will still be coming in for a little while until the weather fully improves um, we've been having some very heavy downpours, like last night was horrendous driving home from Victon. But, like I say, thankfully today, and it is always that hit and miss now, isn't it? And I feel this is the trickiest time to know what kind of rugs you want to put on, whether you want rugs on or not on. But today I thought, no, they can go out and they can have a naked day, which I've already seen Spritey and she is absolutely covered. But their dinner is all made up and they are ready to come in. Now I wanted to end this later today so I've actually been off for a walk with the family really lovely and of course with the doggies who you've got half a tennis ball because you've ruined it there you go oh you've gone in the wrong direction oh no she's seen it <laughs> um so we go off and we've done that this afternoon obviously cold rain was jam-packed with cars so it's like kind of go as quick as you can so that allows later competitors in the day to come in and be able to park and I obviously had the family walk planned but I, whilst I was on the family walk, I have been very frantically, should I say, refreshing the riding club results. So like eventing scores, British riding clubs have also got a website that you can get a live feed of the scores. Now, one of our teammates, Jamie Lee, wasn't riding until the very end of the class because 
think she was coming with her mum and her mum's in the 90s so otherwise it would have meant like hours for both ponies to be waiting on the box so she was right at the end now our team was around seventh or eighth and we needed jamie lee to go in there and get a clear and possibly two time faults i think that would have been or one time fault would have been okay but she only went and smashed it and got a double clear or yeah a clear and zero time faults she actually pushed me down in the individual rankings and went above me so i think i ended up fourth individually which i am buzzing about but our team actually came first Woohoo! and it was a qualifier so we have qualified for the champs now i'm not 100 percent sure i get a little bit confused between the arena eventing and the arena challenge and i don't know if they are both held at aston or not but you guys will know that i wanted to get to the winter series championships with british eventing at aston but now i've qualified and i i've decided i'm not going there but i've now qualified with a team to go to the riding club championship and there's something about it like today i just enjoyed seeing everybody and having a little chat and a catch up and it's just nice and I think as well with like the hour changing and coming into spring everyone is in such much better spirits than being in the deep depths of winter and it was just lovely to see everyone smiley faces everyone enjoying their ponies in the sunshine myself included I really enjoyed today I just had a really good positive mindset today and I re I've always believed in mindset and know that that can make such a detrimental difference and today I, I feel like it kind of proved it because my brain was in the game I had no expectations but I was positive about it and Addy was awesome so and it's crazy to think that I'm actually just making a vlog go live which is what I think has got my brain thinking about it is our show jumping from last weekend which was in the same arena and just show jumping none of the arena eventing fences like the skinnies like every fence today in the cross country was skinny it really was except for like maybe the steps and the water but every other fence that we had to jump was skinny and she was she was great she was really great but in the show jumping last week she was so spooky and it is very easy to fall into the dwelling of we're never going to make it it's ne it's always it's never going to improve and i've also read again perfectly timed somebody's comment on youtube saying about when you're like in, if you've ever had a pt which i'd never have <laughs> i've got chris actually who is a qualified pt so i'm very fortunate but you are always improving but the pt just sets higher goals like it's constantly changing like the weight that you would have the distance you would run and it's very hard to then lose where you're improving and actually sometimes i do wonder whether i maybe do that with addy speak of the devil and look who comes over <laughs> hiya have you enjoyed your naked day i don't think you're in it very much hiya okay you were clever weren't you so we spin it round hey <laughs> you were so good today weren't you you've got a very well deserved day off tomorrow but we've had fun this weekend haven't we so we've got a fence off i need to take that down should we get you in you're not cold actually seven o'clock out naked and you're in a lovely temperature <laughs> good girl but your dinner is served so i best get you in and i best end this vlog just yeah remember sometimes it is good to look back just to see quite how far that you have come and i can't believe like in a week how much different i am feeling and i know obviously we've gone there and we've gone clear today and it might not go that well again next time but even if she had knocked some fences today it was more that the spookiness had been lost and that is what I am taking as my biggest positive she was proper listening to me I felt like I could change the gears and the canter and yeah just a massive improvement and buzzing that we have qualified as a team I feel like I haven't been on a qualifying team for a long time <laughs> probably a few years actually so excited to get planning on a road trip with them hopefully it's not a weekend that I'm already tied up. I perhaps should have looked at that before actually entering, but I'm sure it will all be okay. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Hope you guys can also see the improvement in both Addy and myself. If you have, please do give this video a like, a cheeky comment, and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. But until next time guys, which is another lesson with Cam that is planned later on 
next week yeah next week <laughs> um we will be seeing cameron again and i actually think he's going to be having a little sit on you isn't he so yeah if you want to see cameron riding addy make sure that you are subscribed to get notified when that video goes live and keep an eye out for it but until then we'll see them all next time won't we <laughs>